What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here doing an update on the 24 gallon all-in-one tank. It's been up and running for a little bit now uh, and everything's been doing good with the exception of a uh, water leak. I was wiping down my tank one day um, with the paper towel and I noticed a certain spot was still wet. I pushed up on the shelf and all this water started seeping through. Um, I don't know how long it was leaking, but it must have been a slow leak, obviously. And uh, as you can see, all this water started coming out. So I contacted my friend Pedro. Some of you are subscribed to him. I said, hey, man, is there any way that you can contact SC Aquariums? They don't know what happened. Pictures went back and forth. The emails went back and forth. In result, they ended up sending me a new aquarium. Um, in the meantime, while I had to wait, I ended up putting uh, my fish into a... 20 gallon garbage can and they end up staying there for almost a week. This is where I suspect that the leak came from. You can kind of see all the salt creep right there at the bottom of the tank. I was uh, pretty excited to get a new aquarium right here from SE Aquariums. Check out their website. Customer service is great. I made sure everything was level on my tank before filling it up with water. Um, I don't know if that was a problem but uh, I Pit back the skimmer and um, you can go ahead and give it a try. In the last video, I had my Remora skimmer on uh, because it was already broken in. I had it dialed in. Um, I didn't have to do anything. But with this one, I have you have to have it in at least six inches of water. The chambers for the this tank is pretty deep, so that's why I wasn't able to um, keep control of it. It was overflowing. It was just a pain in the butt. So this time I got some egg crate. And then I made like a little platform for it to sit on. And ever since I did that, everything was good to go. Also put like a piece of plexiglass on the side of it. Because it was throwing a bunch of little bubbles. A bunch of spray. And I wanted to keep that salt creep on that uh, plexiglass. And in the tank. As you can see though, that's about two weeks worth of fish waste. Everything is pretty nasty, and ever since I made those adjustments, this skimmer is working like a beast. I finally set my lights the way I want them. I just did it through the timer easy mode. Um, I set my sunrise, sunset, the ramp time, the maximum peak uh, percentage for the lights. I sent them for at 15%, 16%. I may raise them up a little bit. But everything seems to be okay. I have my lights high above the water line. And uh, in the, with the previous tank, and even with this tank, I was uh, burning out corals. And I really didn't even have the power that high. So it seems like everything is doing okay with the way that I have it set up now. I got a smart ATO from Coral View because uh, in the past videos, you may recall, I was having a hard time with my Elos out of top off. I sent it to them because I was covered under the warranty. They were, they said they fixed it. They sent it back. I told them it's still messed up. They were taking a while, so they said, "Hey, do you want a smart ATO in place of your Elos auto top off?" And I said, "Yes." Um, as you can see, it came with everything. All the tubing uh, came with this little small pump. Came with everything, and the best thing is it's free. Also attached my extension cord to a piece of wood, leaned it up in the back corner, and the reason I did that is to keep all the water off of this extension cord. I didn't want any problems, um, especially since the last tank was leaking. I just didn't want to take any more uh, chances. On my 120 gallon tank, I don't have anything on the floor because water will find its way to it if it is on the floor. The new tank is doing great. Um, no leaks. I put some calc washer in the five gallon container. Everything is doing good. Also I ended up winning a contest from uh, Danny's Reef Tank. If you haven't seen his videos, check him out. He has a lot of uh, tanks going on. Um, I ended up winning some uh, supplements, some alkalinity, some calcium and uh, magnesium crystal form. So thanks a lot Danny. Really appreciate everything and um, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Take care.